Hey guys, so this is um, an introduction to setting up the jQuery Neo Slider plugin. Um, we're just going to go through um, just how you would set it up normally and get it going. So this is the Neo Slider site here where you would go to the pricing page and on the left here you've got the jQuery plugin which you would download for free. Now I've already downloaded it in this case so we're not going to do that um, just now um, and what I've done is I've set up, this is the, the download folder um, with all the files that come with the download and I've set up a simple example.html file um, just to show you how we're going to go about this and it's just going to use some of the files in the folder here so um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the instructions that are found on the support pages um, and using the, the jQuery plugin and we're going to just go through it and, and go step through all this um, code and instructions here on how to set it up, how to make it look good. So, first things first, we'll grab some of the HTML from the tutorial and we'll start putting it in our in our file here. So, first things first is we're going to put some um, a link to the, the CSS file. Um, as you can see in here, the Nebo slider so the CSS file. Um, we need to put that in our head. And then we're, what we're doing here is including the um, Google API's version of jQuery rather than downloading a, a version manually, we're just going to use Google's version here. And we're also including the, the packed minified version of um, the Nevo slider script as well. So we've put that in our HTML head. If I just save that and just preview it, you'll see an empty page at the moment. So that's, um, that's looking good so far. So let's and grab the next bit. So the next um, section of HTML from the tutorial um, really is, is the, the, the kind of guts of the slider. It's just a div or a couple of divs with some images and an HTML caption in this case. Um, so we're going to copy that and we're going to put that in our HTML as well. Um, now here we don't actually have these images from the HTML, we're going to have to provide our own, so what I'll do is just use some from the demo folder. So um, we're just going to put some in here. Um, this slide here has a, a link to it, so we're just going to leave that as it is at the moment. Um, And up, and that's us. We've got some, hopefully, have some images in our page now. So I'm just going to leave the rest as it is. This HTML, you set an HTML caption using the title attribute of one of the images, and that HTML caption there actually refers to this div with this ID HTML caption. Okay, so we've got that set up there. So the last thing that we need to do, if we go back to the, the tutorial, we're going to leave this CSS just now. Um, this CSS here just kind of helps the slider to, to look good rather than having all your images load stacked on top of each other and, um, and seeing all of that. What we, what we do with the CSS is we actually hide the images until they're all loaded. Um, but we'll leave that just now and go down and actually just put in the script um, so that the slider actually gets set up and hooked in with the JavaScript. So we're just going to put the script down here. Um, the slider ID has to be the same as the slider div here um, and also just notice that we have a wrapper div called slider wrapper and the actual slider div itself has the class Nevo slider and these things just help um, the slider look good when it's up and running. So hopefully now if we go to preview we'll see some images. So this is just the default Nevo slider um, It'll work, it won't look very pretty just now because there's no CSS applied to it at the moment, it's just all default, no theme or anything. Um, but as you can see, we've got a working slider. So, what I'm going to do is go back here um, and I'm actually going to um, add another style sheet in here. And I'm going to just add the 
default theme. As you can see, the default themes in this folder here, so themes default and default.css. Now, although we load the theme CSS file, it's not actually going to change anything yet. What we need to do is add um, a class to the slider wrapper. So if I go in to advanced tutorials here and using themes with the Nevo slider, what we'll see is we actually need to add this class that relates to the theme to the slider wrapper div. So I'm just going to copy that, paste that in here, and hopefully you'll see the slider now has a theme. Um, so things look a bit better. We've got some bullet navigation down here and some arrows and it just looks a bit nicer and a bit neater. So um, that's fine. And so that is um, just a quick run through of how to set up the Nevo slider and get it running um, on your website. So cheers guys.